here we are again. There was an overwhelming response to my video on the very high velocity cartridges and rifles and, and uh, rifle barrels without rifling. And quite a few people wrote about the Remington Accelerator cartridge. And I knew about the Accelerator, but I didn't have any. I didn't think. Um, but I guess that maybe somewhere in the ammunition vault there might be a box of 30 out 6 Accelerator. And I dug it out for you. And um, so it's a little bit of a story to tell. And I'll just draw your attention to the unique feature of the Remington Accelerator, which is this Sabbat. So um, this Sabbat holds a 55 grain bullet. This is the powder from that case. So this is a 30 odd six with a 55 grain bullet. This ruler doesn't do anything except prevent these components from rolling all over this table. So that's why this is here. And um, uh, pulling this, by the way, was not an easy task. I tried this inertia puller, by the way, this is one of the most entertaining tools ever. I remember when I first encountered one, like two decades ago, I couldn't imagine how it works. So, I mean, you, you, you take a loaded cartridge, put it in here, in this collar, secure it with this, and then you pound away on a, on a hard surface. And of course, the cartridge is moving, and when you stop, and you have to pretty, hit it pretty hard, the bullet wants to keep going. And so eventually, the bullet flies out and that's how I took apart this normal 30 odd six round this is a 150 grain bullet and I had to hit the inertia puller three times and the bullet has so much momentum that it came out so then you you just take this off this holds the brass case and your bullet and powder are sitting in the bottom here um, this is the inertia puller then I tried a friction puller which fits into your um, you know whatever you have a rock checker press or what have you and and uh, unfortunately I couldn't get a grip on this either these are easy to take apart with either the inertia or with the friction puller anyhow so what I had to do was I took a cartridge and I took a hacksaw and I cut the neck of the brass open pried it open then I could get the sabot out um, there's not enough mass here to for the inertia puller to work and even if I did get the bullet out, I would just get the bullet. I wouldn't get the sabot, which weighs almost nothing. So 55 grain bullet, sabot, regular case, a different type of powder, of course. It'll probably be, I would assume, faster burning. But you never know what formulation they use. And I checked. I can't, I don't think anybody makes these anymore. They used to make the accelerator in 3030 and 30-06 and 308 maybe something else but people wrote me a lot about this and so I can uh, tell you that I have some experience with the 30 out 6 and a couple of other people uh, kind of investigated with me and one of the group was an aggressive kind of uh, reloader and took it apart somehow and with the chronograph I forget it was topping out at about 4300 feet per second but I can tell you it wasn't worth it because things happen with the accuracy. The way it is, if you get accelerator rounds, you'll see this about 14 inches or a little further in front of your muzzle, of the muzzle of the rifle. And these are quite accurate. Some people said they're not, but that wasn't my experience. Anyway, uh, tremendous velocity, and I think they advertise them as just over 4,000 feet per second. Uh, this is uh, Remington also. You can see the box, 150 grain. And um, these are going, I, I, from memory, 27, 2800 feet per second. So 2800, let's say, 150 grain bullet over 4000 for a 55 grain bullet. So this is going a lot quicker than the rounds coming out of an AR. Um, again, why am I making the video? Because people wanted to see this and some wanted to see what it looks like in component form, but they can't find them anymore in stores. So there you have it. That's what it looks like. And it works. And it's a good concept. Um, now, other people wrote me about artillery and tank shells and how sabots are used many times. Um, and, you know, there's a lot to this whole area. By the way, this pile of powder is not what fell out of here. I dropped some on the floor just in case some of you noticed. 
Um, and then on the table over here, some of you wrote me what's going on with the flare guns and the, the signaling um, pistol. So I, these ones, for a while there, people were just giving them away. So I picked them up. Uh, this one appears in Lawrence of Arabia. Anyway, some people were writing me and saying, could you um, comment on guns that were improperly used or, or they had the wrong guns for certain movies? It looks like other people have worked on that already. Uh, but I might do something. Anyway, the, the, these are quite interesting on their own. Uh, the, the quite different, but that's why they're here and I'm still thinking about how to do that in a half intelligent way. So um, that that is it. That's for those of you that were interested in um, attempts to increase velocity uh, without changing rifles and or even cartridges. It, they just um, they just modify the way the the cartridge works with with the Sabbath. And again, sorry I didn't test these powders. You can tell a lot with grain size if you look at them under a microscope, which I didn't do. Uh, but I could have. It's just, it's not conclusive and maybe I shouldn't guess um, like online what powder it is because maybe somebody will try something. But the, the theories and concepts are well known and this was a great thing. And maybe Remington should reintroduce them or maybe they're still being made. I just, you know, I can be behind on things. And um, that inertia bullet puller is something else. You can get one in there. It's, it's cool. And you can see the components. Quite safe, even though it seems dramatic when you're pounding against the, the floor uh, to get the bullet to release. But it, it definitely works. And that's about it. So thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see you again next time.